first solo show with the Art Noise Gallery in 2020. Hello, my name is Adele Webster. I have been um, an artist my whole life. I was trained as a graphic artist. Uh, that was just the beginning of my full-time career as an artist. Uh, since then, I'd say that my style has grown. Um, it's, you know, it grows in really small increments. It, uh, I build on every piece. I learn something with every piece. Um, also, since then, I've been uh, very fortunate to be able to, um, you know, get my artwork in front of a lot of eyes. I've had a lot of feedback. Uh, done a lot of shows and uh, very thankful that my work is resonating and uh, connecting with people. Echoes is a collection of my most recent work. The show name came from the idea that uh, all the pieces echo each other. Um, I'm hoping they echo a happy memory for you, perhaps a dream of a holiday or um, a happy little daydream. Enjoy the show. Growing up in Kingston on the shores of Lake Ontario, it's safe to say the lake has always been a big part of my life. I've carried those memories with me and added new ones from holidays and travels near the water, which has become my lifelong muse. Chasing sunsets and sunrises over bodies of water and expressing them in my own unique style has become my passion. I was born in Watford, England. My family's all from Scarborough, North Yorkshire, which is on the North Sea. So I also have lots of wonderful memories of family holidays there along the seaside. When I was three, we immigrated from England to Canada. And during the two week crossing of the Atlantic, there was a terrible storm and massive waves. All our possessions in the cargo hold were soaked with seawater. As I was only three and without the words to describe what I was seeing, I do have very strong emotional memories of those massive waves. Although they were terrifying, I'm fascinated by the sea. Courage is not being unafraid of something, but finding the strength to move forward to a new beginning. I've been chasing this expression of a distant horizon and a landscape um, whatever medium I'm working in, whether it was encaustic for many years or needle felting or acrylic pouring medium, it's the idea of communicating this distant horizon um, and pushing the medium to see what it can do to help me communicate it uh, while exploring uh, the boundaries of the medium. It's quite a lengthy process. Um, each piece takes, you know, as many layers of color as you can see there. Those are the amount of days that it takes to complete a piece. So usually about three weeks. This style of acrylic washes has been, you know, I've been working on it for about five years now. It's, um, you know, each painting is becoming more and more refined to the final image that I'm chasing. Um, the acrylic washes, it is such a very specific process, um, but I'm fascinated by it. I can't wait to come into the studio the next day to see what's happened overnight, to see if the acrylic wash has plumed, how it's stuck to the wood grain, if the board has, you know, a concave or a convex um, surface to it. And those boards, uh, the troublesome ones, the ones that I fight back and forth with, those are the ones where perhaps something new is formed and uh, a new idea, a new way of working with the wash, something that leads me to that horizon that I'm chasing. Over the past few years of being able to focus on creating full-time, my style, um, it's just becoming, it seems to me it's becoming more and more precise. So 
um, thankfully I do get a lot of time to paint uh, and that I'm still searching for that expression of that horizon. Um, it's it's a mystery to me as well. I'm searching and trying and experimenting and these acrylic washes seem to be um, something I just I'm so excited about. I haven't been able to stop. I'm still thrilled to enter my studio every day and see what's happened overnight and uh, thankfully they seem to resonate with others as well. Um, you know the distant horizon is something that a lot of people connect with and uh, I'm so grateful for that. <laughs>